Hey, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Cartooning for Kids. I'm going to show you a real easy way to do a stick man. Uh, you know, your standard stick man measures about this tall. Whatever the height is, we're going to divide it in half, 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 right here. And then we're going to put a pelvis on it. And in the pelvis, we're going to grow the, the thigh bone. It's connected to the knee bone which is connected to the shin bone, which connected to the ankle bone, connects to the foot bone, okay? So we're gonna bend it out a little bit like this and make it a, a knee. So once again, I went a little fast there. Thigh bone, knee bone, shin bone, ankle bone, and foot, okay? Uh, right here we got the head, and this is a cartoon, so it's a little bit of a big head. Now we get the body, but now what do we do with the body? Well, there's this uh, corn chip. You could do like a corn chip body like this with a V. That's usually a good way to start. And then there's two shoulders, one and two. That's where the arm, whatever position we wanted to move his arm in, we could use that shoulder for pivot, also the elbow. So just like we did with the legs, the shoulder bone connected to the elbow. And let's put a hand on his hip here. Put a hand on his hip. And I'm gonna just draw a simple kind of hand. We'll get into the hands in a later class, okay? And then we can bend this down here. And these are all usually equal um, distance, by the way, the, the size of these things. That's how you can tell. Like I measured this, that was half. That's how we knew where to put the pelvis. Anyway, over here we're gonna do, how about if he does a, does a greeting uh, that we always do, we go hang loose. And then uh, I'll show you how to do that later. I just did it real quick. It's mm, it's a, it's a fun greeting that we do here in Hawaii, okay? And we're going to divide the head into half this way, half this way. And if you notice, uh, half from the top uh, and the chin, okay? So this is the chin, and this is the top of the head. If you notice the half, that's where the eyes probably would go. So I'm just going to draw simple kind of eyes today. Uh, between half of this and half of the chin, that's where the nose goes. The nose knows, and the nose goes right here. Uh, the nose goes, uh, if you measure the nose and the chin, that's where the mouth goes. And he's probably being happy today. And we'll give him a hat. How about that? If we give him a little hat, um, what if we give him a cowboy hat like this? It's going to fit on his head. I think he needs extra large. And I'm going to just put in um, some shadow. So this tells me that he's a cowboy. Awesome. So now we're going to put some clothes on him real quick. We're going to put some... Oh, a collar on his shirt. And then I'm going to start to fill out uh, his uh, skeleton body because he's super skinny now. Uh, I'm going to put on some clothes. I'm going to put on a shirt. That, and I just go right alongside like this, right alongside what I did. So one line here and then a cuff link right here with a button. And uh, if you want buttons, you can. If you want pockets, you can. Let's put on a, a belt buckle. If he's a cowboy, he's got a belt buckle for sure. If he's been in the rodeo. And then we got some jeans. And of course, cowboy boots. Now, when I do the cowboy boots, I already have the bottom. But then for here, I'm going to do smiley face. Like a smiley face line. And that will give us our little deal like this. Bada boom, bada bing. And I'm doing this in pencil now. And if you notice, I'm pretty much all done. I'm doing it in pencil. But we have the eraser. So whenever, um, whatever lines we don't want anymore... Later on, we can erase them, okay? But for now, I'm going to take my pen, which I have right here. Um, I think I only have a black pen. Yeah, I have one of these. And then I'm going to start to draw in only the lines that I like, right? Only the lines that I like. And this this process should be a little slower than before, than what I was doing earlier. But this is just to show you a little bit of easy way to do a take a stick man and turn him to whatever. Now, I, I put him as a cowboy, but you could do whatever you wanted. Okay, it's your picture. But this is the generally the way um, artists will build a character. Yeah, we'll build them from the cartoon version first, and then we'll fill them in with some ink. Uh, skeleton version first, then we'll fill them in, right? And here's his checkerboard shirt. Cowboys always have a checkerboard shirt. Right? Well, almost always. The ones I've seen. And like I said, I'm not going to worry about all my other lines right now. I'm just going to lay down what I have. And you can decorate his boots later if you have the time. But I'm just doing this real quick video to inspire you, to encourage you to draw. Drawing is super fun. Drawing is 
Now, relaxing to me, it's relaxing and it's uh, rewarding because you can end up uh, creating, you know, something out of nothing. Now, I have a, a different kind of eraser right here. And you can use whatever eraser you got. But now, I, since I use the Sharpie pen, it's a permanent pen. And it won't smudge when I erase like this. If you use a different kind of pen, it might smudge. But you get the idea. I'm going to take away everything that I don't want here real quick for you. And there you have a simple way for drawing cartooning for kids. And then you sign your name. What is it? 2020... My name is Jeff Pagai, and I've been uh, happy to share with you a little bit of tips on drawing. See you next time.